Jimbo Fisher got really, really fired up in all of his National Signing Day appearances about the rumors that were going around about the $30 million that boosters were paying in NIL for the number one recruiting class. Jimbo Fisher has recruited well at Texas A&M, but has never recruited this well. And for him to come out and get as defensive as he did, did kind of crack me up a little bit. To, for him to come out, first off, I understand where he's coming from. For calling these other coaches, and a lot of it was pointed at Lane Kiffin, and uh, he talked about the, the vice president or vice something at Notre Dame. Uh, some of these guys that have come out and actually commented on Texas a ms class, he called them clowns, he called them idiots, you know, just whatever. But to say that NIL oh, he had... Called him, he called them hip- hypocrites. Oh, hypocrites, yeah. Yes, and, and don't get me wrong. That's 100% right. They are being hypocrites for saying that that's something that that would change it, right? I do think it does change it a little bit, but it's not like Ole Miss or whoever else could not do this. But for Jimbo to say in these settings that NIL had nothing to do with that class is absolutely ridiculous. Hang on. Hang on. Well, see, this is, this is you're saying the extreme opposite of what he's saying. I don't think Jimbo's saying it had nothing to do with it. Uh, but that's what he said. He was quoted as saying NIL had nothing to do with it. Our staff I, worked our asses off, et cetera. And and I get that. I believe that. I, I under I understand I understand the word that came out of his mouth, but we know he's not talking like that. It, when the when one side is saying it had everything to do with this class, it, him saying it had nothing to do with it is just trying to shout them down. Okay, I I agree. I actually agree with 100 percent of what Jimbo said, 100 percent of it. And it is ironic that when Nick Saban bragged that our quarterback made over a million dollars and never threw a pass. okay, before he ever threw a pass, made over a million dollars and everybody applauded. And then everybody shits on on A&M and and Texas uh, for 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 paying these guys. The thing I think he's upset about and I can explain the upset part. But first, I want to address the biggest thing. It's the misreporting these things. It's the gross exaggerations. I don't think we're anywhere close to $30 million, okay? Like, yeah. like I, I've seen some of these NFL deals. I've actually seen some of the language in it because LSU was in, 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 in a fight for, for some of these same kids. And, and I, I, I listen to and follow a couple of guys that are close to this, and they, talk, they got the language. And they talked to parents and the kids, and, and the kids kind of told them, this is what it is, and this is how it's worded. And so, so Harold, Harold chose LSU. And the reason he decommitted from A&M and chose LSU, he's one of these guys that have one of these big um, uh, uh, NIL deals from A&M, right? Yeah. But the language in the deal is they, they're trying to prevent you from transferring. And so the language in the deal, they're all backloaded to the third year. Okay? So if so – if, and he talked about how it was like – a couple hundred thousand dollars over the course of, of four years, which a a kid like him's thinking I'm not saying four years, but all the money's backloaded to the third year. Okay, that's to keep the kids from transferring. All right, yeah. and and so if you're talking about the fifth best recruit in the nation is a couple hundred thousand, we're not. Get, there's no math you can get to thirty million dollars. Agreed. Okay, so so that part I understand. So let me get to Jimbo's I uh, like ear uh, and, and anger and frustration for this. Let's let's say you are a super rich guy, Gary. Let's say you're 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 you're, you're just a, a, a super rich guy. For some reason, your wife leaves you, and and ten years from now, you end up with a twenty year old smoke show on your shoulder. Right? We okay. all know. We all know why she's there. Okay. We all know what's going on. But isn't it a super dick move to be like, hey, to your face at a bar, the only reason that girl's with you is because you got a lot of money, right? Like, how would you respond? What would you That's, do? You, you, gotta, buy, you got a valid you'd, point. You'd buy the bar, and then you'd have that guy taken out back and have the hell beat out of him, right? <laughs> True. True. Like, like, that's what you would do. So, what – so for Jimbo to get angry, like that is an insult, regardless of if it's true or not. It's an insult. I'm the fattest son of a bitch I know. But if you see me in a store and you'd be like, God damn, you're a fat son of a bitch. Like 
That's a dick thing to do. So saying something that is true doesn't mean it's okay to say. True. And so a reporter asking him about it and being like, hey, the only reason you got this class is because you spent this money. A, the number is a gross exaggeration, a complete and utter lie, and you as a reporter should fucking know that. Have some yeah. standards. It, it's a little strange that that they would even bring it up because it was such a it was it was message board fodder. It was an unsubstant, unsubstantiated rumor, and to actually bring it up, one took a lot of guts, right, for that reporter to even talk about it. That's because not guts. why? That's being a dick. Those two, yeah. they're two different things. Yes, does it take guts to be an asshole? Sure, but you're still being an asshole. True. True. That's very, very true. I'm not going to say anything positive about this reporter because I don't think that's an appropriate question to ask somebody. That's you wouldn't, a, ask, you wouldn't go ask with these billionaire owners, why is that hot chick with you? I don't actually know who the reporter was. Uh, I don't either. But, but it doesn't it's, matter. It's irrelevant. Yeah. It was a dick question. Agreed. Agreed. I was. I see where you're coming from about why he got so fired up about it. It was still strange that he did get fired up about it when you were so used to say, and it's part of the reason why we like Jimbo, is he is willing to say whatever is on his mind. He's willing to come out and say stuff like this. Him coming out and saying, if you want to get involved in throwing stones, we can do that. That's right. <laughs> so it was it was a whole different thing to hear him talk about. I know how some of these other places recruit. So if you want to if you want to have that conversation, yeah, if you want to have that conversation, then we can. So and this whole thing has led to uh, Nick Saban came out and said that uh, they've never paid for a recruit, et cetera. It's like, come on, like what are we talking? Everybody is paying for recruits. See, like, and this that's is... one thing. Never mind, I'm not gonna. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I, you insulted the person, and he talked about it. He said that we're insulted by this. We're offended by you. You're discrediting the work that we put in. Now. The work that you put in is incredibly important. Everybody else is putting in work too. You offer deals. Everybody else is offering deals also. I don't think the deal is 100% the reason you got the kid because everybody else is offering deals too. True. Okay? But but I also don't think it's, it's zero either. But I'm not going to, A, these coaches aren't supposed to be involved in those deals. The schools aren't supposed to be involved in those deals. And if your boosters have something set up, the coaches having any information about that is actually damning to the coach. Agreed. So why are you asking the coach about something that they don't have any knowledge of? True. And True. if I'm a head coach, I don't want any knowledge of it. I want plausible deniability at all times. It's legal now. So you got, I'll tell my boosters, y'all take care of this shit. Yeah, I'll but, do what you need to, but, but leave me get, out of it. If you get the program in trouble, you're gone. Because yes. now it's legal, so there's no reason to do anything to get anybody in trouble with. No, you're you're 100% right. 100% right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.